you never know the people you're going to run into at the March for Life. His Eminence Colonel O'Malley, how are you today? Just great, thank you. Good to be with you, man. It's a beautiful day. The sun left, but now we're going to be mobile, so it looks like God has been smiling on us all day. That's right. Fantastic. Why are you down here to support life, Cardinal? Well, I think that this march is a very important witness to the commitment of believers and people who want to stand up for life, to be able to come together, to be reaffirmed in their ideals, and to say to the world that each and every human life is precious and needs to be defended. I have been here for every march since the first one. I only wish that that Nellie Gray could have been here today to see the Vice President come and give that eloquent testimony. I am so spoiled. This is my very first March for Life, and uh, I'm here with the University of Mary and better with them today for Relevant Radio, so I get to be in the front of the line. I get to talk to great folks like yourself, and I get to see our Vice President. Your Eminence, it's, it's just it, a culture of life is just coming out of nowhere. It's so beautiful. Well, I shouldn't say it's coming out of nowhere. It was hidden. It, we tried, they tried to push us down, but we're, we're just coming right back up. Well, it's very, very encouraging. I know when we had the first march 44 years ago, I guess, it's hard to believe. I'm sure that a lot of people who are in favor of abortion thought, well, this group is just going to die off and age out, and it's gotten younger and younger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, as, as people can see, you know, your eminence, you bring up a good point, younger and younger. I, I just I just turned 41 in October, and I, I look around, and I can't believe the youth that is here. And it's so wonderful because there's so much hope. I mean, this is the future right here. This is the future of the Catholic Church. This is the future of life. This is our world, and they're on the side of life. That's right. And uh, all of the sociologists say that the, the younger generation is more pro-life. And, and that's taking into account that young people are often very secular in their outlook, but still they see the sacredness of life. And so the future for the pro-life movement is only going to grow. Your Eminence, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Very good, Matt. God bless you.